So imagine living in a country where different behaviors, the way you live, they have a social credit score. And if you do good things, you get good scores. If you do bad things, you get points taken away from you, such as if you have bad driving or traffic offenses. If you watch too much porn, you lose points, okay? Jaywalking, smoking on trains, not cleaning up after your dog, you lose points on your social credit score. Not having your dog on a leash, you lose points. Not paying taxes, okay. Playing too many video games, you lose points. Making frivolous purchases, consuming too much alcohol or junk food, criticizing the government, you lose a lot of points. Criticizing the social credit system, visiting unauthorized websites, being friends with or messaging others with low scores or those who commit the above offenses, you lose scores. You may say, there's no way something like this exists. There's a country out there called China that is using this system called the social credit score system that other countries are watching and saying, what a brilliant idea. We're gonna talk about that today. So listen, quick warning, by the time you watch this video, you may be inspired to wanna to move to China because it's just such a wonderful place to live where people can control your decisions, your thoughts, you have a scoring system. So brace for impact, the inspiration is gonna go higher the longer you stick around. But if this thing gives you value, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So by 2022, an estimated 80% of provinces, regions, and cities had introduced some version of the system. More than 33 million businesses in China have already been given a score under some version of the corporate social credit system. And China's social credit system rates individuals, ready? Based on the aggregation and analysis of data in some trials, they have involved a single numerical score between one to a thousand, similar to a FICA score, sometimes, it's A through D, but it's not like the FICA score that you're thinking about in America. So don't be like, well, what's wrong with that? We have that in America. I got a 620 FICA score. I got an A20 FICA score. Very, very different FICA score in America. Your FICA score has nothing to do with how much porn you consume or how much video games you consume. Brandon got nervous for a second because that was the part he was not happy about. However, we're going to keep this in and we're going to continue. Let me give you the timeline of how they came up with this. In 2009, Local governments launched the first round of SCS pilots, SCS, the social credit system. 2014, June, state council issues a roadmap for building a comprehensive social credit system for citizens, companies, and organizations by 2020. January 2015, the People's Bank of China select eight companies to develop pilot consumer programs for this system. April 2016, 32 urban districts are selected for the pilot system. January 2018, 12 cities are selected. April 2019, a senior official warns that companies with low Social credit scores will face disciplinary measures, including restricted financing. That's a very big deal if you're not going to be getting financing. June 2019, state council agrees to speed up the building of social credit systems, which will include a black list element. And in 2020, deadline for implementation. So now let's go through individuals, then we'll look at companies. Individuals, data collection. This is when system aggregates data on individuals based on various sources, including financial records, social behavior, compliance with traffic rules, legal judgments, and even online behavior. Number two, scoring and ratings. Individuals receive scores based on their behavior. High scores typically reflect responsible financial behavior, law-abiding actions, and socially desirable conduct. Low scores may result from debt, criminal behavior, traffic violations and fraud. Number three, rewards and punishment. High scores can lead to benefits such as lower interest rates on loans, access to high-speed trains and planes without restrictions, and easier access to visas. Low scores might result in penalties like restrictions on travel, slower internet speeds, and difficulty obtaining loans or jobs. And, and by the way, if you're saying, what do you mean travel? Restrictions on travel, what does that mean? Well, very simple. According to the National Public Credit Information Center, Chinese courts ban people that wanted to travel from traveling you know how many times from buying flights? You know how many? 17 and a half million times by the end of 2018. We're not even talking about today. You're like trying to book a flight. Hey, I want to go to Vegas. Hey, babe, it's not letting us go to Vegas. What's going on here? Babe, the credit card should work. No, no, it's just not even letting me book it. Babe, put your passport in. Oh, you put the right number. I did. We can't go to Vegas. Why is that? Because your social credit score sucks. That's why you can't go to Vegas. That's kind of giving you a visual what this means here. Let me continue. So now for businesses, number one, compliance and behavior monitoring. Businesses are monitored for regulatory compliance, the fulfillment of contractual obligations, and overall corporate behavior, including environmental practices and product quality. Number two, ratings impact. A company's rating can affect its business to financing, eligibility for government contracts, and even its ability to participate in market in certain markets. High ratings may offer advantages like tax incentives and better loans while low ratings can lead to increased inspections, sanctions, and restricted opportunities. So now you may say, Pat, give me a break. I mean, this is this kind of stuff you read on the internet. People make videos. There's no way this is true. Business Insider gave a lot of different testimonies of examples of this happened in China. Here's a couple stories for you. A Chinese university suspended a student's enrollment because of his dad's bad 
social credit. This kid, his student enrollment was suspended because his dad's got a bad score. The father, surnamed Rao, had failed to repay $29,000 loan and was added to debtor's blacklist that prevented the university from accepting his son. Here's another one for you. Lee Jiaolin, a lawyer who was deemed untrustworthy after not fulfilling a court order in 2015, was placed on the list and was unable to purchase plane tickets home. While on a work trip, Human Rights Watch reported he also couldn't apply for credit cards. Here's another one for you. An unidentified woman in Beijing told BBC in 2015 that she was able to book a hotel without having to pay cash deposit because she had a very good score. Can you imagine? She just kind of follows everything, conforming to everything. You can book your hotel because you got such a fantastic social credit score. A 32-year-old entrepreneur who only gave his name as Chen told Foreign Policy in 2018 that I feel like in the past six months, people's behavior has gotten better and better. For example, when we drive, now we always stop in the front of crosswalks. If you don't, you will lose your points. At first, we just worried about losing points, but now we got used to it. So now you're watching this, you may be saying, well, Pat, what's wrong with that? You notice even this, this fellow named Chen said that six months later, people are getting better, right? Why shouldn't we support something like that in America or a different country? Well, let me give you this episode from Black Mirror. It's called Nosedive. In this episode, Lacey Pound, you know, in this episode, you get to interact with somebody. If you like the way they're taking care of you, give them a score, five star. Great job, hey, you look so great, five star, hey. You, you gave me a nice compliment, five star. Everybody's kind of like scoring themselves, uh, others, based on interaction they're having. And this girl, Lacey, her score is 4.2, and she's trying to get this apartment discount at this luxury apartment community. It's like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I can't get into this place. She's being invited to this wedding by her friend filled with a bunch of five stars so she's like dude i gotta go there so i can increase mine from 4.2 to 4.5 so i can go live in this luxury place anyways on the way there she's starting to have some bad experiences one of the drivers she goes with has a terrible score she loses a point off of it then she's getting more and more agitated eventually she makes it to this wedding but when she's at the wedding she's so angry she's so furious her score is dropped to a two and her friends at the wedding they're like dude you cannot be here because you're gonna hurt our score she gets arrested she goes to jail when she goes to jail her score is a zero and at jail when her score is a zero there's another fellow there who's also got a score of zero you know what they realize they start cursing each other out with a smile on their faces and they found out how happy they are to be able to say whatever they want to say hence freedom of speech hence you ain't got that in china as much as that episode is a fiction trying to kind of mess with your head type of an episode china is forcing you to act like you're happy and do all the right things to control you meanwhile you don't have the freedom to be you and you're losing a part of your ability, your identity. And by the way, aside from the earlier when I told you the whole 17 and a half times they prevented people from flying, booking flights in 2018, there's a whole other things. They got five and a half million people that are blacklisted for social credit offenses, prevented from buying train tickets. Five and a half million times we're talking about. So even a report was released saying that once discredited, you're limited everywhere. So can you imagine you're like discredited here? Everywhere else you go when you try to live a normal life, you're going to have the same kind of limitations on being able to have access to things that people will hire social credit scores are going to have. And by the way, if you're watching this and you can never live in a country like this, this is in China. Thank God it's not a new country yet. Or is it? Because it is kind of getting some elements of it in Australia. Australia has its immigration policy of good character, test for residency. Germany has an element of it. India's flirting with this as well. But recently we saw what happened with the Canada truckers. Anybody who was in perimeter of protest, they locked their bank accounts and go fund me. And, and this even prompted Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to invoke his country's emergency act for the first time in Canadian history to quell the unrest, it gave the police sweeping new powers to go after the finances of the protesters. Later, Canadian authorities said that they were lifting freezes on hundreds of bank accounts associated with protest organizers and Canadians who had blockaded Ottawa streets with their vehicles. Obviously, Justin Trudeau is inspired by what they're doing in China. Maybe he wants to turn Canada into China, but we don't know. And by the way, even in the States, feds monitor bank records for gun and Bible purchases, words like MAGA and Trump. Customers were calling for a boycott of Bank of America after a report that the bank handed over the account information of hundreds of innocent people in connection with the January 6th deadly riots at the Capitol. At the request of the FBI, the country's second largest bank allegedly snooped through information of anyone making certain purchases in and around Washington and handed over the information of 211 people, according to Fox News Tucker Carlson at the time. Look, if you're watching this right now, let me paint a picture that maybe it'll make sense to you. You know how, as a kid, you know, you're gonna make mistakes 
and you're going to get in trouble. I got four of them. They make mistakes all the time, and they're going to get in trouble. Remember when you were a kid and we made mistakes? There's different kind of parents. One of the types of parents were the helicopter parents that just like they're hovering over everything you do, right? And we're watching the movie It. One of the boys, the mom is like, no, he's going to get sick. No, he's going to do this. And the kid is always afraid, right? Or watching a movie with Adam Sandler. What's the movie's name? Waterboy, right? Where the mother's like, no, my son can't do that. You can't date this. And she's afraid of losing the son. Maybe you love your kid. Sure you do. But how much you want to control your kids? Your kids are going to make mistakes. You made mistakes. I made mistakes. They're going to make mistakes. Then take that as the government and treating 42-year-olds as if you're nine years old. What? The, I understand law and order. I go rob a bank. I go to jail. You kill somebody, you go to jail. Different levels of crime. You sell maybe weed, you're smoking yourself. Maybe we make, we make illegal. Distribution may be different. Cocaine, different. Different levels. Of, totally get it. We should have levels for all that stuff. But for this to watch every single thing that you're doing to control your behavior, you know what that officially means? If a society says yes to it and you conform, eventually you're nothing, you're just a robot. And, and that government owns you. But by the way, long term, this is not sustainable because anybody that's a creative, anybody that's an entrepreneur, anybody that, you know, the new inventions, when they go break the rules and create something new that's revolutionary for all of us, those types of people cannot coexist in a Chinese society because what that prevents is having to break the rules to build something new that's innovative for everybody else. But in this kind of an environment, the only thing you can do is steal the ideas from America and just copy it, not create it. Make sense? So this, this whole concept of what they're doing there, you know, for some of you that are watching, it's like, ah, I don't have to worry about this. That'll never happen in my country. Oh, really? You're one leader away from this happening in your country. One leader away who wants to control everything that you're doing from this happening in your country. So what's the solution? Only the paranoid survive in the army. They used to say, stay alert, stay alive. Always make sure that you're keeping your eyes open to see what's going to be taking place. But the people in China are living in this society right now. And there's a reason why they have a negative net migration going on in China. If you got value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, there's another video to watch. We did a video specifically on CBDC. I'm sure you've heard of the concept CBDC, but if you don't really know the intricacies of what they're really doing, click here to watch the video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye.